This is the biggest outreach event that Warwick Classics has ever organised and we are so proud that there are over 560 school kids coming from every type of school and from every part of the country who are studying everything from classics, Latin, Greek, but also English and drama are able to come and experience and understand what ancient comedy was really like. So classics is often seen as a um, kind of niche subject, a little bit of an odd thing for someone to look at. I think the biggest misconception around studying classics is that it's not relevant, it's not um, modern enough or new enough to what we, we look at today. And I think looking at comedy like this really sheds that in a different light because you see that the same gags, the same jokes that we laugh at in a place such as this one are just as, as funny and relevant to us today as it was then. Well, classics is sociology the study of how a society works, what makes it tick. It just happens that that society existed two and a half thousand years ago. Ancient Greece and ancient Rome have had a huge impact on our world today. Our language, our literature, our politics, our theatre, our drama, our art. You can't really move in our world without engaging with something that has its roots back in this extraordinary epoch of human history two and a half thousand years ago and a place that has been absolutely fundamental to our world today. I knew that we were going to do it for the schools and comedy really has a greater impact in terms of drawing children into theatre. I just really wanted them to have a great experience during this day. This play links into my studies in terms of the fact that I've always enjoyed the classical world. I feel that theatre has has really brought me on um, throughout my life and directing such a play for Warwick Classics has allowed me to combine my extracurricular interests in theatre with my actual studies, those in the classical world. When I was thinking about theatre in the ancient world, I didn't know previously how much of a big thing it was, but now after today I realise how what an important event it was and it's changed my view on it. There's a lot of things that I didn't know before that I now know, which is really interesting. So it's kind of builds my horizons on ancient Greece and ancient Rome. So in, in some sense, I think it has changed my perception. I think it's really interesting how the religious side of festivals, such a big ideology to the Athenian people and how much it means to them, not just like a theatre production, it's a really big religious festival to the gods to honour them. I can't wait to perform it. I really can't wait to see the, how he shows the effeminate men, Agathon and Pleistines, and I can't wait to see how the chorus interact with the audience. I think it'll be really interesting to see on a modern audience how they introduce that. I play the chorus leader in Festival for Azusai, and that role basically encompasses telling the audience how they're meant to be feeling. So when we're looking confused, it's normally when the audience is meant to be confused, or when we're looking shocked or something, it's something that's actually meant to be quite funny. So we, we, we are still characters, I am still a character. I've worked with a fantastic cast and fantastic directors, and it's a really great opportunity for the Classic Society and the Classics Department to really come together and work on something together. And it's really rewarding as well when you have the audience just applauding at the end. Critilla kind of keeps the control, keeps it, she's a serious character, it's all very serious to her, so when all the cross-dressing goes on and all the slightly crude scenes, she's supposed to be there to bring it back down and just make sure that justice is served for the woman. You get a great feeling of community because you get to know people that you wouldn't otherwise know, and when you're on stage you just know that everybody's got your back, if you miss a line, if you leave a prop on stage, it's very supportive. All the actors are in the wings and they're just cheering each other on. It's great fun. I play the kinsman in, in the play, yeah. It, he's the um, father-in-law, I think, of, of Euripides. He's an old man, quite, um, I don't know, he's well, horny, really. <laughs> <laughs> I like how my, the character development in my character, how it changes from me being this creepy old man in the, for the first 10 pages and then for the final 20, dressed up as a woman, having all my <laughs> things come back at me. My character is the one who everyone gets angry at. He is the cause of all the problem in Thesmophoria, as you say. I've really loved it. It's really, it's been really enjoyable because I really love Aristophanes. I've read so many Aristophanes plays. It's come together so well and I love being in it and it's so much fun. With a classics play and with, and with a new translation, it was really, really new. It was a really interesting um, thing to get involved in and I definitely wanted to. It was one of actually the main reasons why I picked Warwick. It, it, was, a, it was a real appeal to get, get the wig on. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most exciting part of this whole process for me would be yesterday. We got into the space 
We saw the space for the first time. It was just getting all the actors really excited and seeing them excited and seeing that the process that they had started so long ago was really coming to fruition and when they first went on stage for the audience, that was an amazing moment.